Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 3rd, 2023. Well, my goodness, yesterday was quite the roller coaster ride. I think everyone was probably expecting a little bit of relief to the upside because we're certainly overdue for that. But then, boy, those bears continue to push here as those bond yields continue to move higher. And unfortunately, not much has changed today. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. How about we take a look at these charts, try to remove our bias, and take a look and see how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, as you can see, we left behind a pretty decent looking little hammer pattern yesterday. But unfortunately, we're leaving that hammer pattern kind of floating here in mid-air. You'll notice there's really no major support level in that chart to hold it. There's a little teeny tiny little bit of support right in there that we grabbed a hold of and bounced back up. And you'll notice that it really was not much, much, not much more than just the seven tech giants lifting the Dow back to the top side. There wasn't a whole lot of buying anywhere in the market yesterday. So looking at this, if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration to push on up, well, let's look for a retest of this resistance line that I've got marked right in there. We've got a little bit of those lows right across there. And of course, if we look over into this area, we've got a little bit of support our resistance levels right through that area of the chart. So if those bulls can continue to push to the upside, first step is to test there. Once we step there, I think we're going to have a little bit of congestion right here. Not a lot, but a little bit of congestion to deal with. And you'll notice that that extends over here a little bit. And then if we can push through that level, then we're up here testing one of the more major Areas of price resistance in the chart if we're able to get through there. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration, then there is reason to believe that that is a possibility the way the market's been looking. There's our current downtrend, which is really steep, and we would normally say that can't be sustained very long. And, and I'm going to stay with that, that that kind of steep downtrend can't be sustained very long. But you could also see that possibility that we could set in here and rest a little bit and then go ahead, continue to come on down to test this level here in the chart. So if those bears find inspiration, let's look for some resistance right in these areas that I marked out before and then see if those bears re-engage back to the downside. One thing we do have to say is on Friday, we created a lower high that ended up following through with a lower low yesterday, continuing to show us that downtrend. Now, taking a look at our moving averages here, we did fail through our 200 day or failed at our 200 day. And yesterday went ahead and broke on down below our 500 day moving average. And we can see our short term moving averages are really starting to roll over and come on down. We're going to need some kind of inspiration to get some, get us going here to the upside. Unfortunately, there's not an awful lot in the um, earnings or economic numbers to really do that today. Now, keeping an eye on this, we now have this kind of nasty head and shoulders pattern that we may be coming close. You know, we measure down from the head and then measure down from the neckline break. We may be coming close to completing that, but that actually suggests that we could come down into here in that uh, chart. So we may not be quite done with that nasty little pattern up there in the diamonds. Let's take a look at our SPY. SPY, very much the same thing, obviously 
pretty ugly here overall in the pattern. We also have that pattern here as well, that bit of a, let me see if I can get the right drawing tool here, a bit of a head and shoulders type pattern in here. Our neckline runs across this area. We're getting close here on this as well. Break from the neckline, kind of a similar move down, might take us down into here. And I have been talking about that for a bit, just, um, just that 200 day, 500 day moving average area down here could certainly serve as a, kind of that electromagnet kind of pushing us to the downside. We The good news here yesterday is although we created a lower high on Friday, you'll notice that we didn't do that yesterday. So a little bit more hope of a little bit of relief to the upside is coming here into the SPY. And that was largely based on, again, those seven big techs that did a pretty good job yesterday in rallying when everything else was not looking good. So if that is the case, and we've got this little upside move starting to happen here, well, where do we go? First off, I'm going to suggest there's a little tiny bit of price resistance right in there. We could rally up, test that, and continue to fail. But if the bulls can push through there, with that little hammer pattern yesterday, if we can push on through there, then maybe right up into this next resistance level of the chart. If we can get up past this, then, then we've kind of opened up that opportunity for a bit more relief in the market. So watch carefully for that. However, if the bears were to find inspiration today and were to turn back lower, retest of yesterday's low, and if that were to fail, then of course I think we're coming down into here. If that, if the tail on that candle fails, I still think there's a really good chance that we see the 200 day moving average here in the SPY. If not this week, but in the in the near future at some point in time. So uh, watch that closely. And then if we take a look at our QQQ, our QQQ, the strongest of the markets, we ended up holding here on our August lows. Very strong yesterday in that move to the upside. It whipsawed a lot overall. But here again, we have that situation where we tried to create this um, lower high here in the market on the QQQ. We're struggling right in this area. So the question right now is, can we break through there and push up into this gap, complete that gap, fill that up into here on that next resistance level in the chart? If we can, the bulls can push on through. We may be in good shape to even attack to go a little bit higher here, breaking through that area and testing some of the higher levels of resistance in the chart. However, if those bears come in, hold that area in here or in here, we still run that possibility that we could slip on lower from that high. So watch that carefully here. QQQ being the strongest of the bunch, but it is also very, very volatile and probably a bit on the dangerous side here, considering the fact that we're still um, several weeks away from big tech earnings reports. Um, and we continue to see those bond yields moving higher along with the US dollar. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM is now a lower on the year after yesterday's move. And you can see we've got a um, uh, lower high, lower low. We're in a potential um, situation where the IWM um, for years and years and years kind of led the market it told told us what direction the market was going to go and i think we're starting to see some of that here in um, the iwm pretty bearish here overall you can see there's that um, neckline of the head and shoulders if we measure somewhere in here from the head down to the neckline you come from here and move down we may be getting close to completing this the move to the downside but it still suggests there is some room to move a little bit lower perhaps testing some of these lows of the year here in the russell so watch that closely 
if the Bulls can find inspiration today, and you, you can see here in the Russell, there really was no move to the upside because there's no big tech giants in the Russell. And um, so we stayed bearish on this move all day long. If the Bulls can follow through, well, Maybe we push back up into here, and if we can break through there, we push right up into this level to see if we can break that ugly black candle of yesterday. Past that, we're back up here trying to test this major resistance area and the chart. If the bears continue to find inspiration, there's just really, uh, it's not hard to see that possibility that we could be testing this area of support that I've marked in the chart. And if that were to fail, the only other place to go, I think, is probably the low of the year here in um, IWM. And that would complete that head and shoulders pattern overall. Right now, if we were to redraw a trend in IWM, I think you've kind of got to draw it like this. Go ahead and um, do that here and let's make that kind of fat there's our um, downtrend at the moment and boy it is not looking good here for the Russell um, right now we are definitely oversold we are definitely well overdue for a relief rally but unfortunately we're just not getting data that helps us um, to make that move happen let's take a look at our VIX really quickly our VIX continuing to be a little bit problematic for us, even though we rallied um, on the seven, seven tech stocks um, yesterday, you'll notice we continue to hold that higher low in there on the VIX. That's where that bit of fear can really come into the market. If we can hold on to this, if the bears find more inspiration, then that chance that we could push on through here is certainly possible. If those bears um, um, weaken here just a bit, and that's what uh, I know everyone's kind of hoping the bears will weaken a little bit and react negatively to all of this price resistance up here, maybe we can start to pull that back, easing some of that pressure here in the market if they can continue to um, attempt to rally. We're gonna need a bit more than the big techs, um, however, to make any kind of relief rally stick. If we take a look at our T2122, our T2122 continues to be very, very bearish. We're definitely in the bearish, uh, excuse me, the bullish reversal zone here, and we are overdue for that relief rally. So if the bulls can find some kind of inspiration, well, we have certainly opened up plenty of upside opportunity if they can find something to be inspired on. If the bears continue to find that inspiration, just notice we don't have far that we can go. Uh, now, please keep in mind that can still be a pretty big point move, uh, pushing, pushing that down if the bears continue to be inspired. But if we can get a little bit of relief, that would probably help a lot. Now, one thing I want to remind everyone is that even if we do get a relief, that doesn't mean we're going to zoom um, all the way back up. Um, it could be just nothing more than a relief to the next opportunity to short the market the way we're looking right now. Keeping in mind our T2108, the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average, actually made a new low yesterday. And at the end of the day, with that really big surge right at the end of the day, that push back up, we ended up holding on at the end of the day that little price support area in the chart. Obviously not a very um, uh, encouraging place in our T2108. Only 20% of the stocks holding above their 40 day. Clearly the downtrend is still in play here and we do have more levels down here that we can be testing in T2108 if the bears keep pushing. Um, if we can relieve back to the upside, then I would start looking for some of these little levels right through here for price resistance to come back into play. So watch that carefully. Our T2107, very similar cir circumstances. It went ahead and stayed low because once again, no big techs in small cap and um, continued to push on lower, testing some support levels here in the chart. 36% uh, of the stocks holding above their 200-day moving average. 
pretty tough to build a big bullish case on that but certainly is showing us that short-term oversold condition. And if we can start to bounce, let's see if we can bounce back up here, start testing some of these resistance levels here in the price action of T2107. If the bears continue to push on through, just keep in mind, we do have more proof that we can go quite a bit lower here in T2107. Let's take a look at our T2101. Unfortunately, T2101 didn't help us much yesterday. We saw this hook up just a little bit, and that again was those bears kind of pushing in um, on the sell wave. This shrank back just a little bit yesterday into the close with that surge to the upside. But what we want to see is we want to see on a buy wave, when the bulls are active, we want to see the breadth increasing, not continuing to shrink, because that's what we've seen here lately. It, um, as soon as the bulls come in, the breadth shrinks back. It's not having the energy that the sell side wave has um, uh, been enjoying. So watch that carefully here in T2101. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And here again, unfortunately, everyone, we just don't have um, a lot to go on here today to really inspire us. Obviously, we continue to see um, Fed members speak. We heard Bauman yesterday saying that she believes that there are multiple um, rate increases still to come. I'm like, holy cow, really? Um, but watch that carefully here as we've got Bostic speaking here today. We're going to have the job openings report. Unfortunately, the job openings report in the consensus is suggesting that the jobs opening number actually increased. And if that increases, that may be seen as a bearish thing for the market because we know that the Fed is working to break the back of the employment situation here, the hot employment numbers. So watch that closely. This is one of those uh, times where good news can be bad news. After that, uh, we've got a 52-week um, bill auction, and that's basically it for the day. It's pretty tough to find much inspiration when that is the case. On the earnings side, We've got also got a very light earnings day here. There's only two notables that um, uh, make any sense at all today um, that could move the market a little bit. CALM, um, farm products, got a little upside trend, been dealing with a bit of a double top, uh, breaking um, some support levels, but holding some other support levels. This will be critical for CALM on its report. And the only other one is MKC. And you can see that's already looking pretty bearish here this morning, gapping lower on its report. Maybe coming into the year lows here on MKC, not looking so good. Those are the only earnings for today. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. <coughs> Excuse me. But before we do that, if you guys could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. If you find the video to be useful, to be helpful to your day, if you could do me that favor and also click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, even an emoji count in um, Reaction to the video, the engagement with the video is one of the best things to help um, the channel. So uh, for everyone who does do that, thank you so much. I do truly appreciate it. I, uh, again, I'm humbled every day by your kind words. I truly, truly appreciate your kind support to the effort uh, putting out these videos um, every day. Let's take a look. Um, at some stocks that could be setting up and remember there <laughs> there's a lot of volatility in this market so anything is possible but um, let's take a look at a few of those things that may be moving around here just a bit as you guys know I've been talking about some of these uranium plays they all got slammed hard yesterday and one of the reasons is look at that dollar soaring the dollar continues to soar the ruble kind of falling apart here right now. Um, uh, more than a hundred ruble to a dollar as of this morning. Not looking good here. 
and that's continuing to strengthen um, the um, the U.S. dollar. Also, if you take a look at bond prices, they're not helping us out at all. As a matter of fact, here I'm going to grab this over here, the Bloomberg um, report on this, and, and notice that our 30-year uh, bond is now 52 basis points higher in just the last 30 days in one month and you can see we're moving up in our bond yields and that is continuing to put massive pressure on the market and also um, strengthening the dollar as the dollar strengthens this has massive impacts for countries around the world causing them lots and lots of issues and troubles here because uh, as a dollar dominated world that makes it very difficult for them to uh, manage things as that dollar continues to strengthen and it's it's largely because we're seeing uh, the ruble the yen the yuan are all weakening in um, and that's pushing that dollar higher as well. Let's take a look at some of these stocks now. Rivian, Rivian had some good numbers yesterday, bouncing back up here. And you guys know that I've talked about this one before and was watching this one for a potential earlier when we were resting in this area and I thought we would pop on through. Well, we broke broke that support area in here, pushed down, and then came right back up, bouncing right back up. So what I want to see here now in Rivian is I want to see proof that we can hold this little higher low in here someplace, and then I would look for that next opportunity to the upside. You'll notice what I just drew there is a possible inverted head and shoulders pattern on Rivian. You will want to be keeping in mind there's quite a little bit of resistance right here in that chart. Take a look at WDC. WDC has been holding in a very bullish upside move. Um, we're testing some major resistance levels here in the chart. I'd keep this one on the list. If that can continue to hold, I think that's worth watching pretty closely to see if that can pop and break back through to the upside. Cisco, Cisco uh, bounced nicely here Notice we've got a pretty substantial gap that we need to fill. So it's possible this could just keep rallying to come back up here to fill that gap. But it's also possible that we might actually rest back in here, put in a little higher low. And that's what I would be interested here in that chart to see if we can actually put in a higher low and start some kind of an upside trend to get things moving uh, back to the upside here in Cisco. Take a look at AMD. Um, AMD is now up here at the top side of this channel with that rally yesterday, pushing up the last few days back in here. And we'll wanna watch that closely. If we can continue to see the tech follow through to the upside, let's watch this for a break. If that can hold above that trend, putting in a higher low, then maybe we can start resuming some upside here in AMD. If we continue to, to stay with this pattern, however, unable to break through that, um, that channel, then look for that next opportunity that AMD could start moving right back down here in the chart. As you guys know, we had quite a rally that took off here in TLRY and other um, uh, cannabis related stocks out there but boy they have really slipped right back down into quite a little bit of disappointment tlry is one that i am still watching um, if we can hold some support in here there might be some upside opportunity but if this continues to drop on back down and we refill this gap well there's that's some ugliness um, there in that chart, and it could resume that true bearishness in uh, this sector of the market. So watch that closely. We saw um, energy really pull back hard yesterday, and now we may start to get a little bit of relief in some of these energy stocks. Start watching for that possibility of lower highs in some of those energy um, um, stocks out there. There may be some short um, opportunities coming up you can see right here a little bit of a lower high followed by a lower low that is our first hint so any rally back on those could set us up for that next opportunity 
for that short pattern here in energy stocks. Watch that carefully. It's the first hint that we have seen of a weakening here, and that would really be just demand destruction overall doing that because our supplies continue to weaken here in the United States. So um, just keep a, keep a close eye on that. Um, if you take a look at stocks like Schlumberger, these were all looking very, very bullish. Now breaking trends, starting to show those little higher lows, um, or excuse me, lower highs in the market and creating that bit of concern of that potential rollover. So there are quite a few places in here to start looking for those short trades. Even some of the retail that have been holding up really strong, Walmart have been holding this trend. It actually broke that trend on Friday, followed through yesterday. So now we're starting to see the build of that little bit of a downtrend. The consumer related stocks in here struggling quite a bit. Watch that closely. Any rally back up could set up that next opportunity to potentially short uh, Walmart and we have certainly seen uh, some of these consumer related stocks my goodness heading for the floor here really fast here in, in McDonald's as the consumers are apparently um, seen as being quite stressed um, unable to uh, spend a lot of money out there in the market right now and look at those um, um, buy opportunities if we can find major support levels here in the chart. Just keep an eye on that. If, if this finds that big support area, look for a little bit of a bounce, but obviously very, very bearish here in a lot of areas of the market. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Be a little bit careful and cautious. Again, there's not a lot of inspiration here today to move the market. And if we cannot continue to push up, watch for that possibility that we could whipsaw and move right on down and test some of those major support levels here in the indexes. Uh, Y'all take care, be safe, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Wishing you all the very, very best.